been mortified, fortified, fitting like a motor car. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my niggas die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them niggas slide. Homicide, genocide, televised, emphasize, perpetuating war. Tell that nigga he gon' pick a side. Are you guys ready to gym or what? gym clothes closet. I kind of have my clothes everywhere at the moment. I'm thinking either the Vital Seamless shorts or the Apex shorts. These right here are also calling my name. Love wearing these little minimal sports bras. So cold outside. It's been in like the 30s and for me that's cold. Wearing shorts is kind of bold but I'm low-key still down regardless. The Gymshark Black Friday sale is now live up to 60% off everything on the US and Canada site only. I'm gonna get through this really quick, give you guys the deets, my faves, and what I'm gonna suggest to you guys from the sale. I will have everything linked down below in the description box. Let's go ahead and get started. Start with bottoms first, my fave shorts. All of these items are my most worn items, my top picks from the Gymshark website. Adapt Camo Seamless, I love this color right here and this pattern. This right here is one of the newer patterns they have. There is no butt scrunch in the back. I love Love the fit of these. Another Adapt Camo Seamless. You guys have seen me wear these countless times. These I do find are a little bit shorter shorts. They're not very biker short. Another holy grail is Vital Seamless shorts. Cute and simple staple shorts and they come in countless colors. One of my absolute favorites is Apex. Apex collection has such a close place in my heart. I love how athletic it looks. So they recently dropped a newer version of Apex. Love the material of Apex. So stretchy, so thin. Nice and full coverage, by the way. These are not see-through. Really pretty contouring in the back. These look so flattering on everybody. Definitely, definitely recommend the whole Apex collection. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to leggings. I feel like the patterns that I choose aren't too crazy, and I feel like you guys will love them as well. What all these leggings have in common is that they're seamless leggings i am a small in all of them and i do think they run true to size starting strong with vital seamless just an absolute staple they look good on everybody you have a very light distinct contouring that is not so noticeable this gives you the right amount of contouring everything from apex i will stand behind because apex is just so good it has such a beautiful contouring pattern these are a little bit more bold but they look so good on. A very beautiful black pair that has a very light brown contouring on it. If you're looking for black leggings, definitely recommend these right here. I think the material of Apex is my absolute favorite material out of all of Gymshark's leggings and bottoms. Adapt Camo leggings. The perfect camo in my personal opinion. The leggings on Adapt Camo do have a little bit of a butt scrunch, but it's nothing too crazy. I always just like to kind of Pull it up if you know what I'm saying. I wear these all the time, Adapt Fleck. This colorway is one of my favorites as well as the white, little flecks on it. Adapt Camo, Adapt Fleck, all of those have very similar material and leggings, so I say that the fit is pretty much identical. Seamless, no butt scrunch, perfect legging in my opinion. I actually bought these because of my friend Courtney. I saw her wearing them and I was like, hold up girl gotta get these. Here, Adapt Model, they fit so well. Again, these are seamless leggings. This is just another pattern that I really like. The material on all of the Adapt is very similar, not see-through. They are true to size. I wear a size small in all of them. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to tops. So when I tell you I'm obsessed with this sports bra, it is nuts. I have them in so many different colors. One of their Minimal sports bras, you guys have probably already seen this. Just perfect. The straps in the back are removable, which gives you a cute little halter effect. These do not come with padding. This is a more low support sports bra. So many colors and patterns. Another one of my faves, the ruche sports bra. I love the little ruching in the front. I love that it's still like a V down here. One thing I really love about this sports bra is that the straps are adjustable. This one does have a little bit more coverage. Love the bandeau tops. Again, so many different colors. 
This does have adjustable straps as well, so you can adjust it. An absolute staple. We have the Vital Seamless Long Sleeves. These do have little thumb holes, which I personally really love. And they have them in so many colors. Love mixing and matching my collections, as you guys will see in the try-ons. Vital Seamless, again, short sleeve. I wear these all the time. If you want something a little bit fuller coverage that is not cropped, these Vital Seamless short sleeve shirts are so flattering last but not least for the vital seamless pretty jackets that you guys see me wearing all the time they have the thumb holes the zipper the quarter zip They're so flattering again and the perfect cover-up gymshark oversized tees they have them in so many different colors you guys see me wear these all the freaking time literally all the time i'm wearing these if you're looking for a cute crop jacket power crop jacket is just so cute my favorite is the green and the black of course definitely cop up one of these i'm not gonna leave you guys hanging without showing you guys the rest day and the, just the sweaters and crewnecks because i absolutely love them okay guys we're pretty much done if you guys choose to shop through my link i really appreciate it i do get a very tiny commission off of your purchase so if you do thank you so 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 much but of course there's always so many other athletes you guys can support as well you go in and spot conceal is a very thick concealer so i don't do a lot i just do enough to like kind of correct go in with my finger it takes me like five minutes at most i've actually always worn a little bit of makeup to the gym like since i started my journey because i don't know there's nothing wrong in wanting to look put together to go to the gym taking a lighter concealer just to add some brightness Blend that out. Bronzer and blush. I was only doing blush for a bit, but then I started doing bronzer too because, dude, like the sun is going away, winter is here. I look pale as fuck. Cute, 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 cute. I recently discovered this blush right here. This is Pacifica Fluffy Blush in the shade Pink Haze. When I first saw this, I was like, oh my God, a purple blush. I don't know how that's gonna look, but it actually looks so good. Start up here. And I go in with kind of a lot. And then I go on my nose down here and kind of on the sides of my nose. Whatever's left, I always put it on my forehead. I just went ahead and set my under eye. Now I'm doing my eyebrows. I've been kind of experimenting with my brows. So I normally use got to be or I do the soap brow method. I've been kind of experimenting to see kind of what I guess looks the best. I'm gonna go in with this little brush and voy a aplastar los pelitos. Cool. Add this medium brown pomade from KVD. My brows look so good. I just fill in the tail as you guys saw. I also curled my eyelashes. Um, I'm just gonna set my eyelids just cause they get really oily. I do go in with a more natural lip liner. This is LA Girl Sugar and Spice. And just do my regular ass hair that I do all the time. Do the two hairs in the front. You can leave it like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a bun. Oh my god, my camera's gonna die! No! Dude, I fucking love little buns. Little buns with the two hairs right here. It's gonna hit every single fucking time. Every single fucking time. Or braids. I love doing braids too. I think braids is perfect. I do need to put on my earrings still, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I might wear these long ones. These are from, these are from Chrome Hearts. I always wear these. I'm gonna go with the Apex shorts and I'm gonna wear this t-shirt, I think, just cause it is a little bit cold. So I do need a cover up. Show you guys the final fit once I'm done changing. All of these items will be a part of the sale. So to go with the gray, I'm gonna go with my Asics. Like an off-white with like a silver. High socks. I think this is cute. 
And then like the layered long sleeve with like the t-shirt. This is the gym bag that I use. This is the smallest Gymshark gym bag they have. In my gym bag, I have a lifting belt, headphones, a barbell pad. I recently got these grips for when I lift heavy because I have terrible grip. Can't grip, it starts to hurt really bad. So I just recently got these. Also have my aqua collagen protein hydration from EHP Labs. If you don't like regular protein powder, definitely recommend getting this because it's like protein juice. Shaker cup with water and then down here i keep all my energy drinks sometimes i will do pre-workout but sometimes i will do energy drinks i'm gonna go ahead and drink this on the go on my way to the gym i also love to put chia seeds in my water so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm going to take a little snack on the go i love to take like an apple or something i don't have too many I straightened my little pelitos. I'm juiced. Taking the trash out. I'm so excited. When she's a vlogger, when she vlogs. I'm a little bit nervous because like I said I did have a cough so I missed out on the gym for about a week you are going to be hitting legs make sure you eat before you work out girl because if not, you're going to be lightheaded. You're going to be taking pre-workout. These are persimos. I think it's persimo season. Girl, you know I'm going to have these on deck. Before I get into my workout, I always do some prep work, some warming up, some mobility. I prioritize mobility so much now because I genuinely notice that it makes a difference when I'm actually working out. So here I'm just doing some lower body mobility, just getting my hips nice and warmed up. Um, sometimes I even do some upper body warm ups before my leg days if I'm going to be doing some RDLs or squats, but I actually did not do that this time around because my band ripped. I need to get a new band, but these are my go to little warm up slash mobility exercises, and oh my god, they've helped so much. So I do prioritize about five to ten minutes to warming up. I suggest that you guys do it as well, and I also do these little mobility exercises slash warm ups on my upper body days as well, just because I really want to prioritize my mobility because, like I said, it makes a difference, girl. So prioritize that shit. Money coming, money okay, go. Let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty of this workout. Starting with superset number one, we are going to be doing some Smith Machine squats as well as Smith Machine reverse lunges. And we're going heavy per usual. I'm trying to up my strength all the time, working on my strength and working on building these quads and glutes is a really big priority for me. Dude, the pain that I get doing these squats these smith machine squats reminds me so much of doing hack squats or even doing squats on the pendulum machine so if you do not have those machines definitely try this out because getting this deep squat really burns my quads and it's so challenging as you can see i'm doing 45s on each side it's not that heavy and it's just so intense girl oh my gosh and i went ahead and started off by doing about 10 to 12 reps for my first set. Right after I'm done with the squats, I'm going straight into reverse lunges. I always do some sort of a lunge on my leg days, whether it's lightweight, heavy like this, or even doing deficit reverse lunges. I think these really do a lot for your legs so if you do not incorporate these definitely start incorporating them on your leg days i personally love to do them on the smith machine because i have more control over the weight i can focus on my form and my stability as you can see i'm really 
trying to lift with the front leg versus the back leg. The back leg, of course, you're going to push off a little bit, but I'm trying my best to keep the weight loaded on the front leg because that's the leg that I'm focusing on. Cam, now I got plants now from the branch. I grew up quick, but never let go of this year. All of that bullshit is in my rear. Hey, hey. blues and papers blowing, baby, sweat and trainers. Right after you're done with the second leg, you are done with set number one. And after this set, I'm going to continue to go up in weight. And as I go up in weight, I do lower my reps. I also am going to start implementing a lifting belt after my first set because since I am loading up the weight, I do need a little bit more help in the stability department. Um, I am actually really good at engaging my core and being stable, but... I do sometimes find that my form kind of starts to lack when I up my weight and I do not have a belt. So adding a belt always helps. So definitely invest in one because it helps so much with upping your weight. I know this is kind of a funny angle, but I decided to give you guys this point of view so you guys could really see how deep I was going in these squats quads are fully engaged it is so difficult and also as you can see i did not up the weight for my second set for squats just because i was really struggling in that first set so i was like okay let me give myself a second i'll up my weight on my third set and i am doing four sets total by the way but yeah girl definitely do these as you can see by the pain in my face it is a struggle <laughs> Since I do have a little bit more practice with my reverse lunges, I did go up and wait for my second set of reverse lunges. So here I am doing 55 on each side and I'm going to keep this weight for my next set, my next upcoming set. Also a really quick one to mention that I do take about sometimes five to 10 minutes to rest in between my super set sets just because they're so intense and I really need to give myself that time to kind of gather myself up so that way I can take on my next set. So don't feel ashamed if you have to take a little bit of time to rest in between your sets because it's really important. Oh my God, I'm dying. So as I go up in weight, I lower my reps. I'm wearing my lifting belt just so I can really stabilize myself. Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh my god, this combo, this superset, is too much. Motherfucker, I've been mortified, fortified, feeling like a Mordecai. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my niggas die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them niggas slide. Homicide, genocide, televised, emphasize. Perpetuating war, tell that nigga he gon' pick a side. Hood ties from hood life, my niggas doing dope lines. Don't run into the cops, that's a bitch, nigga, exercise. Uh, don't run into the cops, that's the motto. I don't see it coming to an okay, end like Legato. Okay, doing my third set on the Smith Machine squats. I did go ahead and up my weight for the third set, so now I am doing... 55s on each side this was such a struggle i was only able to get in five reps but hey at least it's some progress and i did up my weight one last time for my fourth set black nigga genius everybody love the culture they be black by convenience hold on hold on hold on my nigga you talking way too much conscious shit nobody want to hear that shit nigga speak about some homes or some money or shit nigga i don't want to hear that shit nigga i'm not saying don't rap how you rap my nigga but Make some shit we can vibe to. Sounded like a real nigga had to. Charlie Summer wanted that you think a nigga had to. Stop, I look, you felt like I was gonna faint for a sec. Oh my god, No, I can never trick on the bitch, cause the bitch is my bitch with a kiss on my lips, like, oh, I am not a pimp with a lip. Just added another five. Let's see if I can do it. This weight ended up being my maxed out weight for this superset. So I ended up stopping here just because I felt like if I kept going up, I would have to compromise my form. And we obviously do not want to do that. So this is me doing my third set, but I kept the weight the same for my fourth set, which I did not record because essentially it was just the same thing. I just kept my reps 
lower. But yeah, girl, this first set was so intense. Definitely try it out and let me know what you think. Just playing Rihanna so you know it's about to get fucking lit. So I am going to hip thrust, superset that with RDLs, some heavy dumbbell RDLs. I'm already so fucking tired, bro. Moving on to my second superset in this workout. I'm going to be honest, I have not hip thrusted in about three weeks just because I was out for one of those weeks from being sick. And then I just wasn't practicing my hip thrusting because I was prioritizing squats. I hate that I do that, but sadly it's a thing. So here I am keeping the weight the same for my hip thrust throughout the whole sets for this superset. Not gonna lie, I was struggling and i am a little bit hurt by it because i just want to continue to see progress but you know what sometimes obstacles get in the way sometimes you just don't practice enough and that's okay that's my b but trust girl i'm gonna continue to work on it i always love to do the hip thrust dumbbell rdl or just rdl superset combo i think it's the absolute most perfect combo so here i am doing heavy rdls and i am going to gradually up my weight with these dumbbell rdls i do use a grip wrap things that i showed you guys earlier in this video just because i find that my grip is terrible i do think i have early signs of carpal tunnel from doing makeup because doing makeup used to be my old job but yeah that's besides the point get some grip wraps because they make a difference and sometimes you think you can lift more but sometimes it's just your grip so get some grip wraps definitely recommend here i am moving on to set number two one tip that i do really want to recommend is practice your breathing because if you're going to be lifting heavy and you're not breathing at the right time, like holding in your breath and breathing out at the right time, it does affect your lifts. What I like to do is I take a big deep breath in, brace my core, lift the weight, and then when I come back down and release the weight, I will exhale. Um, or sometimes I will just exhale when I am paused. But I do recommend focusing on your breathing because it makes a really big difference, especially when you are lifting heavy. So I did only do three sets in this second super set and I did not record my second set for you guys but here is the end of my third set. I ended up going up to 70s for the dumbbell RDLs. By the way, feel free and let me know if you guys like when I do voiceovers on my workout videos. I just like to let you guys know on what I'm thinking, the deets, and give you guys my tips and stuff. And I will have the full workout deets in the description box down below so that way you guys can go and try this out. It's killer. By the time that I was done with this second superset, I was done. I low-key wanted to leave, but I kept going. Next, moving on to leg press, I am actually so proud because I am finally lifting heavier on the leg press. I remember when I first went back to the gym this year after taking a break from the gym for about two years, I was only doing about two plates, max three plates, and now I can almost do five plates, which is insane to me. But so I'm on the leg press, I'm starting off with two plates on each side and then gradually building my weight with every set that I'm doing. Obviously we are all at different strength levels. So if your goal is to build your strength, 
Just make sure you are adjusting the weight based off of what you can do. If you feel like you can get in about eight, maybe even to 10 reps of a certain weight, you can most definitely go up in weight and lower your reps. So just always make sure that you are challenging yourself and testing your limits, especially with your strength, because a lot of the times when we think we can't lift a certain weight, most of the time you'd be surprised and you really can. Even if you just get in two to three reps, all of that, right there is progress and if you have to lower your reps who cares lower your reps the bread niggas lost fuck an intern shorty take me to the boss no they tried to count me out but couldn't nothing is more motivating than seeing your progress in the gym with strength your physique and just even the way that you feel it's so motivating and it gets me so excited to continue to train and to continue to challenge myself keep going like don't give up on yourself there's always going to be ups and downs with fitness sometimes you're gonna have amazing weeks sometimes you're gonna have shitty days shitty months but it's always worth it once you see your progress it makes you feel so amazing so confident so keep going if you're having a hard time just know that it always gets better East side out the sprinter used to borrow mama's whip i had to drop some gas in it use my own shit and now i got it dropping ass in it sliding through savannah country grandma in the speakers learned a lot from nana had no manners for the teachers keep my energy away from scammers in the reaches because i always been a player you just chant it from the bleachers hood legend like the wings with the lemon pepper my alkaline living got a niji living better and I always like to finish my lower body days with leg extensions. I don't really have a set amount of sets that I do. I honestly just go until I cannot no more. So I try to basically burn out. I start off by doing my heaviest weight. And then as I continue to fatigue my quads, I start to lower my weight. And I just go and go and go until I just can't anymore. Um, you will see me pausing a few times. Sometimes I do have to kind of get off the machine to just regather myself because sometimes I'm like, oh my God, I can't anymore. So I get off for a second, but then get back on and continue to get to it until I just absolutely total my quads. You guys will see once I'm done doing the leg extension, I'm kind of walking funny. You know, once you're walking funny, you know that you had a really good leg day. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, this is basically to finish out my workout. And if you completed this workout, definitely let me know how it went. Tag me in your IG stories. And yeah, good luck. Motherfucker, I've been mortified, fortified, fitting like a Mordecai. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my niggas die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them niggas slide. Homicide, genocide, televised, emphasize, perpetuating war. Tell that nigga he gon' pick a side. Hood ties from hood lines, my niggas doing dope lines. Don't run into the cops, that's a bitch, nigga, exercise. Uh, don't run into the cops, that's the motto. I don't see it coming to an end like Legato. Niggas get chipped like Cicado, send a wave through the hood, now it's sounding like Verado. Why you eat bread with avocado? We be trying to die shells before I land in our tomato. Singing all my sorrows on Apollo. I've been trying to pave the way, but they didn't tell me it was potos. Mm. America ain't dreaming if it's scheming. When the birth of a nation came from black niggas semen. Uh, we all know it's black nigga genius. Everybody love the culture. They be black by convenience. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my nigga. You talking way too much conscious shit. Nobody want to hear that shit. Nigga, speak about some hoes or some money or shit. Nigga, I don't want to hear that shit. Nigga, I'm not saying don't rap how you rap, my nigga, but make some shit we can vibe to. Shoutin' like a real nigga answer. Shawty saw my wallet, now she think a nigga answer. Whoa, telling me she wanted me to hammer. Tryna get saved, baby, I am not the answer. No, I can never trick on a bitch unless the bitch is my bitch with a kiss on my lips. Like, I am not a champ with a lip. I'm a man with a kiss on my lips. Like, tell them other niggas I'm the nigga. I'm the man in the city. And my bank account bigger. And my body count bigger. That's without a doubt, nigga. I'm a hundred steps ahead. That's a lot of mouth, nigga. That's a lot of clout, nigga. What you all about, nigga? What your dollar?
Hey girl, I forgot to vlog, but I'm home now. I just got out of the shower doing my skincare. I don't have my tripod. It's been so cold, so I had to put on something cozy. I'm wearing my pantuflas. Anyways, I'm gonna just keep it chill. Thank you so much for watching this video. I loved filming for you guys at the gym today. I have a few videos planned, so you guys will see me soon.